Today is Halloween, and there's one haunted house you don't want to miss out on. The Grandview Hotel was once a target for crime, drugs, and murder, but now it's transformed into a haunted house to draw in patrons one more time. Eric Hashke is in charge of designing the event. We did not focus on any of those personal tragedies that happened. Uh, we just kind of went with the overall mystique of this place. When you walked into it, before we set anything up, it was it was a very frightening place to be in. The owner of the hotel decided to turn it into a charity event before the building gets demolished next week. It was easy for Hashki to organize the event, working with Peoria players. We have uh, our own staff of actors, we have our lighting people, our sound people, we have a huge prop and costume department. We are, you know, we're a theater house, so we have all this material on hand and we were ready to go. The owner of the building hopes to raise $20,000 for four charities, the Habitat for Humanity, Southside Office for Concern, Special Olympics, and Heart of Illinois Down Syndrome. Although this haunted house was built for fundraising, there's many chilling surprises, so enter at your own risk. One of the first stops in the guided tour will be sure to send chills down your spine. And the people waiting out in the lobby there heard her screaming and one girl refused to even come in. She wouldn't even come in, the f she just left, she already paid. If you can't take the thrill, you can always make an emergency exit. But this is one haunted house you won't see again next year. For Midstate Magazine, this is Anna.